Hi guys, so welcome to part two of this series on bass intervals. So in part two, we are going to learn the anticipations or all the intervals which want to resolve to the resolutions. What are all the resolutions we learnt in the first video? Again, we have the root, we have the octave, I've chosen E for our study. Then we have the fifth, which is B, major third, or the sadder, melancholic, mournful, minor third, or the more serious minor third, or the more uplifting, or the more brighter, or the more playful. Oh man, I'm running out of words. Major third. Okay, so you have these intervals which we learnt in the last class. And now what we will do is we will learn anticipations. And anticipations are going to be used more as passing tones or intervals which you'd want to use for additional colour or additional flavour in order to reach back into the resolutions in a very sort of creative way. You could think of the resolutions more as pillars, right? And then in between the two pillars, you can move in certain interesting pathways. And that's the anticipations. So let's get started. The anticipations on the bass are, the first thing I want to talk about is the perfect fourth, which is super easy. The bass guitar essentially is tuned in fourths. So even if you take the open strings, you'll have E tuned to A, tuned up to D and then up to G. So those are all perfect fourths. So if you start here, the equation is not going to change one bit. So if you want the perfect fourth from E, you get to a, your A. So when you're learning perfect fourths, since it's a very popular interval, especially for building up your chord progressions, you could do root, upper fourth, root, down a fourth, root, upper fourth, root, down a fourth, right? And you remember the fifth from earlier, you went root, fourth, fifth, this is your fifth, root, lower fifth. So you may want to try and make up some simple chord progressions, if you will, using just the root, fourth, fifth, or root, fourth, fifth. And try to do this, well, you can do it with a lot of music, right? In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. What did I do there? One, four, one, five, or <clears throat> knock, knock, knock in all heaven's door, yeah. What was that? That was like one, five, four, or if you like a higher five, one, knock, knock, knock in all heaven's door. Then you go to the higher five and then the lower fourth, or oh, the, the higher fourth is the same thing or whatever yeah i i think i'll stop here you get the idea right so you have the root the fourth the fifth root the fourth the fifth so practice them another very very important interval on the bass especially for building bluesy bass lines funky bass lines or r&b soul those sort of bass lines will be the flat seventh so let's try and form that the flat seven is exactly on the same fret as the root but you skip a string and you play it like like here that'll be e d e d flat 7th is also called as a minor 7th or a dominant 7th so you go e d e d e d so you use this a lot along with the third you know you could do e or with the fifth or with the octave Fifth flat seven, fifth flat seven octave. Boom, boom, flat. Boom, 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 boom. So yeah, I've built a riff. I kind of like this riff actually. So you go. And a nice thing about the flat seven, which was here, is you can also play it down here. So for a more rocky vibe. Stuff like that. And 
have used just the intervals we've learned so far. That's ba 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 ba. Isn't this ba 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 ba? Yeah, it's similar to some popular stuff you must have heard already. Very rock, rock sounding. You could try that. Ba 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 ba. This is your flat seven. You may not want to play it like that because that's too high. So when you play the flat seven, maybe you want to do it with a few other intervals like. like add it and then resolve it back to the octave so you see what's happening these anticipations always want to generally when you use them in a cycle they want to resolve somewhere similarly if you play the fourth which we learned earlier the fourth is nice but a little unstable you'll figure that out when you when it comes back to the third right One, four, three, and now it feels a little bit more stable. Or boom, buddy. One, four, minor third. Even though the minor third feels sad, sad is still a very stable emotion, isn't it? So you go boom, boom, boom. Perfect fourth we've learnt. Lower perfect fourth. <coughs> Higher minor seventh. or dominant 7th or lower dominant 7th or minor 7th so the lower one is more edgy more rocky sound while the higher one is i guess more funky or more maybe more bluesy something like that ba ba bo great so that's about your 4 and your 7 let's now look at the other what what we call as anticipation which is the 2 <clears throat> super easy right this is what we call as the major second you can literally play it on the same fret sorry same string up skip a fret and play the f sharp which is the major second bum or if you want to generate a major second and you're starting with the pinky then you can find the same major second here that's f sharp in the e major scale right so the three anticipations again perfect fourth lower perfect fourth Minor seventh or dominant seventh or flat seventh up top, lower minor seventh below the root, major second above the root, major second above the root from a different position, right? So you want to use these antis anticipations to color up your riff, but keep in mind that the resolutions are the pillars. You want to practice them first; those are your go-to's, and then you add this for additional flavorings, right? So in the next lesson, what we are going to do is we are going to look at all the mysterious stuff, the tensions, the mysterious intervals, which. you will find more in movies or in more heavier songs you know so let's get to that in the next lesson <clears throat> in conclusion so far we've learned resolutions in video 1 we've learned anticipations in video 2 or passing notes in video 3 we're going to learn more tensions and mystery so head over to that once you've sorted this out and as always this is jason here from the nathaniel school of music don't forget to subscribe to our channel hit that like a button share the video if you liked it with your friends who play music and uh, everything else you can do nice for us great cheers